Welcome to College Suggest Spotlights. Here we deep dive into a college and analyze it inside out. Get an exclusive look inside the campus, the infrastructure, facilities, sports, academics, and so much more. And in this episode, we feature the SRM Institute of Science and Technology, formerly known as the SRM University. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite colleges, college comparisons, courses, careers, and much more. Please note that all the data and information displayed on this video are directly sourced from the NIRF. Other information is sourced from the institution's official website. We leave the links in the description below. Why did you choose SRM? Uh, actually, SRM has a uh, good reputation in India as a private university. SRM because I have heard a lot of it and I really like the campus. The exposure that you get here, you won't get it. This campus is the top university in India, so I want to join the campus. Best result on the placements, the packages and the selections. It's a good platform where I can get opportunities. So I have liked the place, so I chose it. And the people here are very uh, simple, down to earth people. There's no like uh, outside influence, political influence that much that uh, Kashmir people face in other parts of the country. So this is a very safe environment. There are a lot of students over here, so you get to build a network. They provide, you know, state-of-the-art uh, opportunities and infrastructure in campus, so we don't feel like we are left out. They are well equipped and they have lots of professors. Compared to my country where I'm from, there is vast, vast things that I can learn from here. SRM is a well-known and reputed institution located in South India, with a vision to emerge as a world-class university in providing knowledge and offering a unique learning experience for the students. SRM has established itself as one of the most desired destinations for students all over the country and beyond. The Ministry of Human Resource and Development has recognized SRM as a Category A institution. The NAAC has accredited the institution with its highest A++ grade. Further to this, many programs offered by the institution are accredited by the ABET, a recognized U.S. accreditor of college and university programs in applied and natural science, computing, engineering, and engineering technology. All of this accreditation shows us the level of attention the institution offers to make their standards better. Coming to the performance of the institution, based on the NIRF parameters, SRM has scored 59.85% towards teaching, learning and resources. For research and professional practices, they have achieved 33.39%. They have scored 63.04% for their graduation outcomes, 62.18% for outreach and inclusivity, and finally 21.53% according to the perception of their peers, research investors and the public. Comprising all of these, according to the NIRF's weightage module, SRM has scored 48.95% as their NIRF score. This moves them up to the 36th rank on the 2019 NIRF table. SRM is located in Kartang Kulutur, Chennai. Although the institution is located about an hour's drive from Chennai, it can easily be reached by buses and local trains. The college offers a free shuttle service to and from the nearest bus stand and the Poteri railway station. The nearest railway station connecting all parts of India is the Purachi Talaivar Dr. MGR Central Railway Station at Chennai, which is about 46 kilometers away, while the nearest airport is the Anna International Airport, which is about 24 kilometers away. SRM boasts a huge campus, which includes 42 blocks spread over 250 acres. The modern campus itself seems to have attracted many students to join SRM. Here's what some of the students had to say. I can say it's surprising. It's fun. Full of enjoyment. Lively. Fun. It's amazing. Yeah, uh, my life on campus is uh, cool, enjoyable. Uh, actually, it's very simple word, but it's amazing. SRM provides everything that you need to excel in the field that you need, provided you use it wisely. It's a lively campus. Lively, very lively campus. I think it's peaceful. Like it's awesome. And what is your favorite hangout spot on campus? Hangout spot? <laughs> your university building. It's very beautiful. Java. My favorite spot on campus is near the arch gate. I love the how the gate is and how lovely it looks. Favorite spot? It's being Tech Park and Tech Park Labs. In the evening time, I come to the Tech Park stairs. A library or Java? Canteen, yeah. 
Uh, well, I'm a foodie, so Java. And then usually in the evening, I'm probably hanging around the tech park stairs. It's breezy. It's both very like right there. Java and uh, University building. UB Block, University building, because it has a library, it has a lot of books. I go there, I get what I want, and I study well. Uh, actually, I like the library, like uh, because I'm someone who likes to read a lot. So uh, I like the library and the books in it. It's very entertaining. The library seems to be a crowd favorite. Let's check it out. Spread over 1.5 lakh square feet and four floors, the fully air-conditioned library holds over 1 lakh 40 thousand books. Apart from various non-printed materials and online resources. Yeah, the library is well stocked. I find what I want easily, and in case if I can't find what I want, I use the internet. So there is a lot of books about mass communications. I find it super peaceful because it is having super AC. Yes, it's uh, like uh, I usually go to library to study and all over the like, all night I can we can study in library. It has so many books. It has uh, many uh, corners for the GRE preparations and I've seen everything so that was a very nice thing. Every book is available, whatever you need here. Yeah. And it's open 24-7. Library is very good. Actually during exam times it's open uh, till for 3 or 4 o'clock at the night. Yeah, it's well stocked and also we have online subscription to different magazines. SRM offers a variety of hostels for the students to choose from. They have 14 blocks of men's hostels which house about 7,500 students and 7 blocks for the women's hostels which houses about 4,000 students. Yeah, comfortable. Everyone in the friendly. Yeah, the hostel is comfortable for me but we have only one problem like we are three in room and that's why we don't like it. Hostel was great. Yes, hostels are pretty comfortable. Services and all are pretty good. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Actually, they are quite comfortable. Uh, my expectations were pretty low for the hostels, but I was quite happy with what I am having. Uh, the, the hostel block that I stay in is uh, very nice. I have the AC block that I'm staying in, so it's very comfortable. Hostel, uh, I won't say it's the best, but it's really comfortable. For students interested in sports, the college supports you in a major way by offering a wide range of sports facilities such as volleyball courts, basketball courts, football fields, hockey field, tennis courts and a cricket field. They also have an air-conditioned multi-purpose indoor stadium. To get admissions into the engineering programs, one has to go through the SRM JEEE examination. We've made an all-you-need-to-know video on SRM JEEE. Be sure to check that out as well. SRM offers 31 UG engineering and 33 PG engineering programs. As of 2019, SRM's intake is 4,745 UG and 315 PG engineering seats. And all four years put together, the massive campus holds a total of 21,033 engineering students, out of which 79.29% are boys and 20.71% are girls. There are a total of 4,311 students from Tamil Nadu, 16,300 students from other parts of India and 422 students from outside the country. This diverse mix of cultures gives the students a unique opportunity to experience various cultures. This sort of experience is only available within a handful of institutions in India. There are a total of 351 full-time and 79 part-time students pursuing their PhDs here out of which 13 full-time and 40 part-time scholars have graduated with a PhD. SRM has hit the ball out of the park when it comes to graduations. SRM has improved their UG graduation by graduating 96.62% of their UG engineering students and 31.87% of them have decided to go on and study further. Coming to the PG graduation, 99.76% of their students have graduated and 3% have decided to go on and study further. This is one of the best results that we've seen put up by a private institution. But let's see if they can keep this up with their placements. Considering the UG placements, they actually do. They have placed 2,874 students with a placement percentage of 96.96. These graduates were offered a median salary package of 3,60,000. But the PG placement could have been better. They've placed just 55 students with a placement percentage of 13.64%. These students were offered a median salary package of Rs. 4,25,000. SRM has performed very well in placement by bringing in over 100 new recruiters. Over 430 students have received a dream offer of over 5 lakhs. 
SRM has created excellent opportunities for female students by bringing in a number of recruiters hiring exclusively female candidates. Some of the giants that are known to hire from SRM are Amazon, Google, Microsoft, SAP, HSBC, Goldman Sachs, Michelin, St. Cobain, Sony, Shell, Samsung, Siemens, Schneider Electric and the list goes on. Like I've received multiple job offers from these opportunities directly. For one of my seniors placed in Rodan, it was 31 lakhs package. So placement's actually very good. For the CSCIT, large number of companies. Very good companies like uh, Udan came, it was giving 30 lakhs. Placements are, are really good if you sit for them. Coming to the faculty, SRM has a total of 1,469 faculty members, out of which 42.47% are qualified with a PhD. This leaves one faculty member for every 14 students. When we asked about their teachers, here's what the students had to say. They always take care of me. They give me so many good course, I think. Care for your health, ask you how you're doing home, are you stressed? Because mental health is a, is a, is a very important issue. So. They are really, really helpful. They are like parents to us. They are super good. The teachers, they are super friendly. They are super supportive. They are helpful and the notes and all, everything provided and they are friendly too. They know what they are teaching us and they prepare themselves for their teachers. Generally, most of the teachers, most they are really they prepare. Some they just prepare. read from the PPT. Well, it depends. Like, uh, if you get the senior staffs, they are prepared. Yeah, I mean, the staff that I have had, they have always prepared for at least the lecture that they're going to take. Teachers are very helpful, as I said earlier also. They help me in every way, and if I go wrong, they guide me. So over here, we have this culture of working with the faculty. Even if you're a student, we work with the faculty on some project. So student gets to learn something from the faculty and vice versa. Yeah, they are very approachable. Like, I usually, if I have any doubts about anything, I usually WhatsApp them up and they are available. So that's the maximum approachability that you can expect from the faculty. All my teachers are my, my favorite teachers, and they are the best teachers, I guess. <laughs> SRM has taken various research initiatives over the years to mobilize the available knowledge resources for research and also to come up strongly with innovative solutions. The faculty and management encourage students to be involved in various research activities. Yeah, I'm getting lots of equipment, enough, because uh, we normally go for field trips also. They provide bosses and uh, we go with our professors to the fields and we do uh, practicals and fields. We are having act the topmost equipment, the desktops and everything, the PCs, RAM, everything is fine. Everything is the topmost. The labs are very nice and then the equipments are also like well set up. Labs are uh, top notch, like very highly expensive. Yeah. And they are saying to students that try these, you, you need to do it yourself. Labs and equipment, I would say labs are good, TC computer labs. I think the best thing in this college is, is the college lab. The lab is totally awesome. They are well equipped for the particular course. Labs are okay, it's like, like so, so many times some equi equipments are not there, some are not working in physics lab, in chemistry lab. We have, you know, workstations, fully powered workstations, so you don't have to step out of the campus to do your research project or something. The number of patents granted has drastically increased to 31. However, none were granted lately. The research projects bring in over 15.26 crores as sponsored research funding and 85.43 lakhs as consultancy project funding. SRM has spent over 43.49 crores as annual capital expenditure, out of which over 57.7% of it has been spent in purchasing new lab equipment. This shows that the institution has put in a lot of thought in enhancing the learning process of the students. They've also spent over 314 crores as their annual operational expenditure. They've spent the most on their staff salaries and maintaining their infrastructure. SRM hosts some of the most anticipated cultural events in Chennai. Milan, the cultural fest, brings in students from all over the country to participate in various contests. It also brings in celebrity guests, pro shows, DJ nights and much more. They also conduct various events for the freshers and other institutions under the SRM banner, which gives a great platform for students of SRM to showcase their talents. There are also a large number of student organizations and clubs that the students seem very interested to be a part of. Apart from organizing their own, students also take part in hackathons conducted by various other institutions across the country and even abroad and have won accolades. Yeah, so speaking about hackathon, again from a CSC student's point of view, 
SRM you know gives you immense opportunities for hackathons and off curricular activities too. So speaking about my team, we have a team called as BSC which is powered by Google developers. So we went for the Smart India Hackathon in 2019 and we won that and we are aiming for it again in 2020. Yeah, I have participated in the Smart India Hackathon. So I have participated in one 2018 and 2019 with software and hardware. I have also gone to the Singapore India Hackathon as a participant. SRM has the culture of hackathons and a lot of students go around the globe, literally around the globe, in US, all around India and others. They go win it and come back with flying colors. Apart from that, we have, you know, coding clubs, we have tech clubs, we have arts clubs, culture clubs. SRM provides everything of academics too. Having seen all the facts, SRM proves to be one of the most desired places for students and with good reason. They have improved their performance in almost all the areas and that shows the desire of the staff and management to become the best private institution in India. Not only in academics but also in nurturing the lives of students with its diversity is evident from the campus and the students that we met. When we asked if they were happy by choosing SRM, this is how they responded. Yeah, I'm happy in this item. Yeah, I'm very happy. Every day I'm very happy. Uh, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm comfortable actually. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, like very happy. I like this item. Yes, I'll say I'm happy. Yeah, definitely I'm happy. Yeah, till now I am happy. Out of 10, I will be like 7%. Yeah, we have. Actually, I'm very happy. Yeah, sure. Yes. But, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm extremely happy about it. <laughs> What institution should we put under the spotlight next? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.